Hello Sagittarius and welcome to your mid-May bonus general tarot guidance with me Julie Paul. Hello, welcome, thank you for being here. Welcome back. Alrighty, so mm, this is good for Sagittarius Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus and cross-watching. It is a general read for you for the next two weeks, okay? Middle of May, roughly till the end of May, all right? And by then I'll be back with your June reading. So you see, I'm never far away. Right, have you got yourself a cup of tea? I got black tea here today. What have you got? Tea, coffee, little tipple? Where are you watching me from? What time is it there? I've been asking these questions recently and I've been loving watching your, uh, reading your comments and finding out all about you and where you are. It's lovely. Right, um, anything else I need to tell you? Big full moon on the 23rd. Very important, very significant. And interestingly, a very powerful manifesting moon. Normally it's the new moon you manifest, but this is a big one according to the astrologers. So we want to align with what we want to manifest, okay? Right, let's bring the camera down. You know the drill. All the cards I used are linked below in the description box, along with a link to my website. If you want to book in, you just click there. All right, I am open for bookings. We're using the Animal Oracle today, all right? For this batch of readings for mid-month, they've asked me to use the Animal Oracle. And I was asking earlier why, and they say because it helps ground the energy. Okay, so there we go. Right, this is the Animal Oracle. This is the Australian Animal Oracle. Let's see, what do we have for Sagittarius, please, for mid-May for the next two weeks? What's the messages for Sagittarius? Oh, we've got Grasshopper Spirit. Take a leap of faith. That's like the fool. We like that a lot. <laughs> All right. We have Stag Spirit. Take the lead. And frog spirit, clear out the clutter. That's been coming up a lot, this clearing out clutter. It came out in your money and career readings. It's come out again here. So, I know this, they're saying, shut up a minute and get the cards out. Okay, okay, okay. Animal, Australian animal oracle for Sag, please. For my lovely, oh, the soft one. Okay. B, teamwork. All right. You're in an energy of teamwork. Number 33, master number of expansion and growth. Look at this. Take a leap of faith. Take the lead. Clear out the clutter and work like a team. All right. Good, good. Let's find out some more. This is the Tower of Dreams, as you probably know. Sag, please. Okay. We've got the Nine of Swords. So that leap of faith is stressing you out a little bit. All right, centre of the reading, Queen of Wands in your power. Seven of Wands, Nine of Wands. Lots and lots of Wands, okay. Right, we've got to bring this burden, this struggle, this heaviness to a close by working as a team. But let's get the rest out. Let me get you an affirmation. What's the most appropriate affirmation for my Sages, please, for the middle of May? What do you want to tell them? What do you want them to focus on? Thank you. We have boundaries. Okay, doesn't surprise me. With that seven of wands on the deck, which is boundaries, you have reset. All right, reset is a reprogramming. Rethink it, okay? I am free to set my own boundaries. I am setting healthy boundaries for myself and my life. All right, so a strong emphasis here on boundaries, which is here and here. And yeah, we'll talk about it in a minute. Let's get the next deck out. This is the right of weight. And then we're going to pull them together and see what's going on for my Sages, please, for mid-May. Want that one? Yeah. Well, come on then. It's like they're saying, well, it's sort of ready, but it's not quite ready, but it's coming, it's on its way, the chariot. Okay, so that leap of faith is happening. Get ready. Okay. Yeah, there's the world. Queen of Swords with the Queen of Wands. Oh, we're in our power. And the Hierophant with the Seven of Coins, building something for the future. All right. Okay, so let's have a look here. So we've got three major arcana cards on the deck, the Hierophant, the Chariot, and the World. We've got coins and swords and wands, 
ones and ones more coins we've got no cups this is not the time where you are really feeling into everything very deeply this is more about your power and your action to make things happen fire energy like you loving it all right so center of the reading queen of wands there she is I know my worth, I know what I want, get out of my way because I'm making it happen. That's what she's all about, all right? Determination, mm, the fire in her belly. If you found that your fire in your belly has just been a little tiny, 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 weeny, weeny, weeny little spark, this is the time it's getting ignited, really pushing up. You're getting the fire back, okay? And this is how, with that fire energy, that you can really step into these boundaries to really reset your boundaries. What this is telling you, ready? It's telling you you're being too bloody soft is what it's telling you, okay? It's time to firm up a little bit, strengthen up those boundaries. Learn the word no is a complete sentence. Now, we tend to, because we're nice people and because we care and because we love to help, we tend to overgive, over support, forget about ourselves. It becomes about everybody else until life gets completely out of balance. Not this time, not mid May. No, no, no. You are in an energy where you are taking a leap of faith. That's the fool with the world. There is your you, 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 you are in a big shift. And if your boundaries are not clear about what you're doing and what you want and making sure you've got enough energy for you, you won't be taking that leap of faith because you'll be too tired to. Do you see what I mean? So they're saying it has to be about you. Scorpio got a similar message. Interesting. Those of you on the cusp, have a look at that one as well, okay? Because it is time for you to take a leap of faith and move forward, all right? Take a leap of faith. So you are ready. Number 30, three is a growth and expansion. You are ready to take a leap of faith. But it does feel as if you've got to step into your power with that Queen of Wands to do it. And the Queen of Swords underneath her, Queen of Truth as I call her, she can be a little bit blunt. She can be a little bit my way or the highway. But when we are in our boundaries, that's actually what we need to be able to say to somebody, this is not up for negotiation. This is what I'm doing, like it or not. This is what's right for me. I'm taking the lead on my life, on my passion, on my power, and I am sticking to it. The Queen of Swords is all about that clarity. She's not ambiguous, she's not confused. She doesn't get talked out of anything. She knows what she wants. She's using that sword to cut through the BS, to cut through the fog and the confusion. She knows what she wants. And any of your but, but, buts, she's going to cut through as well. This is about you, Sagittarius. It's time, okay? You are free to set your own boundaries, to do what is right for you. And it is time for you to take a leap of faith. So we're ready to move forward. But notice the way that chariot card was cut, sort of out. Is it coming? Is it not coming? Are we ready to move forward? And then it did come. But it's saying, look, you're hesitant, aren't you? You want this, but you're hesitant and you're worried about, yeah, but what about my husband or my wife? Or what about my children? Or what about my colleagues? And yeah, I know I'd like to do this, but I'm really, you know, all about other people. No, no. Okay, <laughs> and I know I sound hard and cold and I'm not, but we have to get our boundaries clear, all right? Otherwise, we sacrifice our own happiness for somebody else and that is not what this is about, all right? Because that kind of energy is the sacrificial lamb. That is not you in your power. That is not you doing what is best for you. That's you conforming and people pleasing to what's best for everybody else. And it's not the right time for that. This is the time where you're really figuring out what that new next step is for you. That fool energy, that taking a leap of faith and allowing yourself to move forward despite the anxiety. 
despite the sleepless nights. I want to get my world into balance. The two of coins came out for Scorpio at the centre of their reading and you got it right at the beginning of yours. This is all about balancing your life up, isn't it? You know, work home balance and, you know, taking care of self and taking care of others balance. You know, it's that put the mask on yourself thing, fill your own cup up first. That's the energy because you're in this leadership energy. Take the lead. There he is, Mr. Stag, which is all about the inner guidance, taking the lead on what is right for you. So this is why you've got two queens in the center of the reading, because they're leaders. Queens are leaders, right? You're in that leadership energy because your focus here is on bringing your world into balance. Two of Pentacles. So this is financial balance, but also energetic balance and grounding. So yes, you've got some anxieties, some wibbles and wobbles. We all do, especially when we start saying no to people. We're worried about how's it going to go down. We've got to let that go. How it's received is not your business. How you deliver it is. So we can deliver our truth and deliver our perspective of this is what I'm doing and this is what's right for me and we deliver it clearly and respectfully but firmly this is assertiveness all right we're not going to be talked out of this so yeah we might be a bit anxious you know to say no we will all get that because we don't like upsetting people but at the same time you can't just put your own life on hold you've got to take the lead this is your life. Nobody can live it for you. Only you. So something here that was out of balance wants to come to a close, a big close, a major close. The world is a huge completion. Something's done. Something's finished. We are ready to move forward in our power and clarity and truth. As we move forward, taking that leap of faith and taking the lead, that's when we are looking at who's coming with me. And who am I leaving behind? But clearing out the clutter. Those that try to hold you back. And they might say, it's only because I love you. No, it's only because you love yourself, mate. <laughs> Somebody who truly loves you will want you to do what is right for you. And they will respect it. If they are reacting and having a little tantrum, that doesn't mean they don't love you. It just means they're not seeing that right now. They're in their own fears and their own insecurities and their own stuff. So just let that go. It's not your business. Just let that go. You focus on you. Seven of Wands. There's your boundaries. There's your self-protection. There's you not backing down. There's you in the courage of your convictions. I'm doing this and this that I'm doing with the Hierophant, whatever this is for you, could be a new home, new job, leaving a relationship, setting up your own business, retiring, whatever it is for you, it feels absolutely right and it's time. The Hierophant is about long-term commitments, long-term security, longevity, marriage, contracts. This is the way you're going forward now into infinity. I'm doing it the right way. I'm doing what's right for me. And I will work as a team. I'm not going to do this independently, although the Queen of Swords is very independent. But I'm going to allow myself to work with others on this, whatever this is. So let's say <clears throat> this new beginning and ending. I want a divorce. That's one option. And you are now ready. You've been hesitating and hovering on shall I, shan't I, shall I, shan't I. And then you're like, yeah, I've got to. And so you take the lead on your life. You're moving forward. You're clearing out the clutter that belonged to that marriage. And you are letting go of stuff and energy and people and all sorts. But you will be working in a team with your lawyer or with your family. Or if this is a job, working in a new team, right? Re leaning on, I was going to say relying, and they went, no, nope, you're not relying on anybody. You're doing this, but you can do it with the support of others if they support you. If they don't, by then, I'm doing it anyway. I'm doing it anyway, okay? Because life's been too hard for too long, nine of wands, and I can't go on like this anymore. It's ridiculous, 
I've got to stop. I've got to put down the burden. I've got to get myself aligned with my own sense of agency, my own sense of authority. I've got to take the lead in my own life. And I've got to build something here for the future. Seven of coins is all about sowing the seeds now, nurturing it, nurturing it, feeding it, loving it, caring about it. I am sowing the seeds to create a life here that is more balanced, empowered, enriched. That's what I am moving into now. So the Hierophant says, whatever seeds you sow at this time will go all the way. All right. This is longevity, long term stuff. But I've got to hold the courage of my convictions and follow my own truth and my own power, my own heart. OK, let's get you an angel card to finish off. Very strong message for Sagittarius about being in your power and stepping into your own boundaries. I want that one and that one. Okay, these are the Oracle of the Angels. So let's have a look what we've got from the angels. Believe in dreams. There she is, look, she's at the bottom there, only little, but look how big her real self is when we allow ourselves to lift up from the confines, from the chains that bind us, when we allow ourselves to expand into infinity, Look how big we are. This is you. You can be huge. You can absolutely be huge. And look at her heart shining, the light shining in her heart. Very powerful. We've got the eternal light of love. There's that sword again, the sword of truth and clarity, bringing the light into his third eye. As we step in our truth, our intuition can kick in as well because we're aligning with our truth and we line up together. And finally, positive intentions. These are unicorns behind here, very magical, high vibrational beings. And this beautiful young lady is holding the fruits of her labor, cornucopia, abundance. So when you have the positive intentions, when you focus on I, I'm doing this. I can do this. I am making things happen. I am moving forward. Then those things fall into place almost by magic. So a magical time of truth, clarity and empowerment, Sagittarius. And that is what I have for you for mid-May. I hope it was helpful. If it was, give it a like, a share click that subscribe button. It's completely free, you know, if you didn't know, it's completely free and it helps me and my channel to grow and I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. I'll be back in a week or so with your June 2024 General Tarot Guidance halfway through the year already. Where has the time gone? All right. Thanks for being here, Sagittarius. Have a wonderful day. Sending you all much love. Bye-bye.